Mercedes, you're looking divine as always. Good evening, Sylvain. Thank you for coming out to see me. Just the two of us meeting at this time of night? You move quicker. God than damn it, Sylvain. Hmm? I don't know what speed has to do with it, but there was something I wanted to talk to you about. Ah, okay. I probably should have figured that out. <laughs> I can be so forgetful at times. I neglected to mention this the other day. I meant to say that I know you've been through a lot in this life. Huh? Me? Your parents have placed a great deal of pressure on you as their heir. And it's all because you were born with a crest. You've had to put up with such lofty expectations. All of the kingdom's noble houses expect a lot from their heirs. I'm no different from any other noble guy or gal. We've all got responsibilities. But didn't you mention that your brother envied you enough to wish you dead? I'm sure that wasn't easy. Thinking about it, life was probably a lot harder for my brother than it ever has been for me. Didn't you also mention that women were only interested in having your, as you say, crest baby? <laughs> I'm not very interested in the particulars, but I get the feeling that you don't care very much for these women who throw themselves at you. Um. I'd appreciate it if maybe you kept that observation between the two of us. Your secret's safe with me. I understand the pain you've had to carry. I know you've got your share of bad memories too, but... That's why you feel comfortable letting your guard down around me. Come now. That's enough with the sad smile. Mercedes. Was my sad smile really that bad? Did it ruin my dashing good looks? Not at all. You actually look more handsome to me with honesty on your face. <laughs> Aw, here come the waterworks. Don't be ashamed of crying. I'm here to protect you. Will you protect me in return? I will. I promise. You know, Mercedes, you really are a special lady. That was amazing. Hilda, lovely as ever. I swear, when you're around, the sun shines brighter and everything sparkles. Sylvain, you're looking superb as always. <laughs> Thank you. This Are you going too. out today? If you do, then be careful. I'd hate to think you might hurt your foot again. My foot? Oh, yes! You mean that time you helped me with the books? <laughs> yeah, five years ago. No need to worry. The foot's fine now. Even better than it was before. I noticed, you know, since I'm always looking at cute girls, and you are one of the cuter ones. Your foot was better during the battle. You were running all over, just a regular warrior princess. And that's <coughs> in a day after such a terrible injury. My friends were depending on me. So I just had to fight. Man, they're just pain. bullshitting each other. Hilda, please don't lie to me. I knew your foot wasn't really hurt, but I returned your books anyway. Take it from a guy who does his fair share of pretending to be someone he's not. And I say this as a friend, you are a terrible liar. And those books you left in your room for so long? Teachers and classmates needed those. So stop lying, and maybe stop being quite as selfish Oh, too. shit. <laughs> you saw right through me. Honestly, I'd completely forgotten that I still had those books. I really was going to return them. Did the librarian say anything to you? Oh yeah. I got an earful of yelling and accusations meant for you. Huh? Didn't you just say it was my fault? Nah, I figured the librarian would feel better if they just let loose. No reason to make them wait for you. I'm so sorry. You got a tongue lashing that should have been directed at me. Tell you what. All will be forgiven if you promise three things. Stop lying, take responsibility, and fall madly in love with me. <laughs> oh, Sylvain, I do love you, you know? I just wouldn't want you for a husband. What? Why not? Well, not to offend you, but I can't help but feel that your niceness is somehow... Shallow. Wow. My brother would probably cut you into pieces the moment he saw your face. Your brother sounds uh, 
terrifying, actually. We're losing the thread a bit here. Evidently, you can see through my act, so I'll just be straightforward about taking advantage of you. <laughs> well, I'll take what I can get. Just don't go causing trouble for guys who aren't me. It's a deal. Goodbye for now, Sylvain. <laughs> Wait, what? Why am I S with you? Why am I S with people? To deepen this bond further, you'll have to wait until after the war ends. Oh, okay. It's probably picking the... Romance options. Annie, do you have a moment? Is this about what happened when we were shopping? If so, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Not so fast. I haven't properly apologized yet. So, I'm sorry. I just... I got scared. Imagine if something bad happened to you because of me. That was five years ago, Mercy. You're a great you healer. You'd just run away if you were on your own, wouldn't you? Instead, you acted defensively because I was there. I dragged you down. Mercy, you're upsetting me. How dare you say that you dragged me down? You know why I was acting so recklessly? Because I wanted to protect my best friend in the whole world. Annie. Do you remember when we first enrolled at the Academy? It seemed like everyone was leagues ahead of us and so far out of reach. I felt completely hopeless. But because you were there, I didn't lose hope. So don't say stupid things about how you drag me down or how you don't deserve things. Thank you for saying that. And again, I'm sorry. You're just so important to me. I know I could never find another friend like you. You stayed by my side through thick and thin. I wouldn't be able to forgive myself if anything happened to you because of me. Mercy, can we be friends again? Of course, Annie. Friends forever. Did you stop being friends because Good. of that? I don't know what I would have done if we hadn't found a way to make up. I'm sorry. I should have said something sooner. No, I'm the one who should have stopped being so stubborn and said something. <laughs> you know, now that everything's as it should be, I'm suddenly starving. <laughs> That's just like you. Come, let's go for tea. Ooh, let's! <laughs> and we should have some mercy baked sweets on the side. I think I love you more than just about anything in the world. You do? Oh, Anna, you're too sweet. Not as sweet as your baking. I love your baking more than anything in the world, too. Other than you. <laughs> well, I'm always happy to bake for you, Annie. Oh, I'm so happy to have you bake, uh, back. <laughs> that was wholesome. Seems Dimitri is unable to deepen this bond right now. Tidy these days, Hilda. I'm pretty good at cleaning, I found out. I guess I was being lazy before. <laughs> I figured that if I left it to somebody else, I might lose another vase. <laughs> I'm sorry again about that. And about all of the other things I knocked over, too. Yeah, the shelves and the chairs and my clothes and my makeup. Ugh, I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry. I put everything back, didn't I? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You know, Annette, you should try to be a little more selfish. Hmm? That was a quick change of subject. You said how hard you've been working not to disappoint your family. You cleaned my room, or tried to, because I was feeling overwhelmed. You're always taking on other people's burdens. Hmm, you might be right. It could be nice to do something for myself sometime. A lot of but people if I forget hadn't that. I tried hard for other people's sakes. 
Maybe I wouldn't have tried at all. I might not have made it this far. So really, I don't regret a thing. Who I am now is the sum of everything I've done. You're so soft-hearted, Annette. <laughs> you really think so? I didn't mean it as a compliment. But anyway, <laughs> I just thought of something you can do for me. You can take a nap with me. A nap? But I'm not done with my chores. Yeah, I could use a little shut-eye. And it feels nice to snuggle up with someone. So, why don't we lie down for a bit? Are you sure it's okay to nap right now? I still have stuff to do for the professor. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Later I'll help you with your stuff and it'll be done in no time. Oh, fine. Just for a bit. The sunlight coming through the window is awfully nice. Isn't it? Nothing better than a nice lazy nap in the middle of the day. I like to join mm. that nap. It really is relaxing. <sighs> Already dozing. She must have needed this nap really bad. <gasps> I'm feeling a little drowsy myself. Sleep well, Annette. Okay. Gilbert? Why do you pretend not to recognize me? Annette, I... I've been looking everywhere for you. Please stop treating me like a stranger. I can't bear it. <sighs> Father, wait! How long will you keep avoiding me like this? I have lost the right to face you or your mother. This has nothing to do with rights. We're family. I'm your daughter. Indeed, you are my daughter, yet I am no father. I am only a fool who abandoned his family. You really think it was foolish to abandon us? I do. Then the least you can do is apologize. I'm fine, but mother deserves as much. I finished my studies at the School of Sorcery and the Officer's Academy. I have a busy and satisfying life now, but mother... She's waited for you to return all this time, living under my uncle's roof. I... I am sorry, Annette. I already told you. Don't say that to me. Apologize to Mother. Let her see your face. That I cannot do. I know you do not understand. But it is the way of things. Get back! As for you, Annette. Say the word, and I will disappear from your life forever. For now, though, I must return to my duties. Father, how could you be so cruel? Alois! Oh, there's one more for Felix. do this goddess why couldn't i have stayed in today bernadetta is this a trouble you are having i heard that the duty to hunt is yours today the, the duties all got assigned while i was holed up in my room do not be worrying i can show you the way to hunt well oh um okay then when you see a beast you are thinking of it as an enemy that is how prey thinks you must think of the beasts as food. That is how the hunter thinks. So it's not an enemy, it's food. But, um, how is it food when it's still alive? You pick the vegetables from the field. Those have life too. It is the same. You take a blade in your hand and take the lives of the vegetables. You cut their stalks and harvest without mercy. They do not scream, but you are still their killer. Well, that's pretty dark. That's pretty dark, Petra. God damn. Fruit ripens and falls to the ground. 
the seeds sprout and a new life is born. That is life's cycle. It has cruelty, yes, but you must end life to eat. You must be killing to be living. Maybe, but I don't know if I want to be some... some kind of vegetable murderer. It is the same for rabbits, deer, pheasants. The only difference being that they cannot cry out. <laughs> you must do what you must do to be living in this world. It is your task. A task? Yes, just a task. A completely mindless task. Not mindless. Feel it. There, in the grass. Prey is moving. Just like a vegetable in the wind. You're inside the fucking school, dude. Give it an arrow, just like you would give a vegetable a blade. It is just your task. Uh, right. That makes sense. It's just like cutting a stem. You are now a hunter. You have learned how to hunt. I Bug. Have... I have? Oh, good. What a relief. You have understanding now. I can tell. Great. Leave it to me. I'll hunt down my prey just like their vegetables. I have belief in you. Aw, thanks, Petra. I can do this! Make way for Huntmaster Bernie! Have luck, Bernie. <laughs> Ow! What? Okay, sent over. No! Stay back! I'm sorry, Mr. Rabbit, I didn't mean it! Why are you the one chasing me? <laughs> oh! Okay, that that went well. Okay, I must drop off these papers with Bernadetta. I'm not sure how to go about this. She's as timid as a mouse, and that's when speaking to people her own age. She'll likely scream the second she sees me. Maybe this is a mistake. All that noise is going to frighten the other students. Um, hi. Can I help you? Ah, hello. I owe some business with Bernadetta. I wasn't sure how to approach her. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean, but okay. <laughs> what business do you have with Bernie? I was supposed to deliver this, you see. Perhaps you can take it off my hands? Right. Thanks for taking the time. No trouble at all. Here it is. Thanks. I'm going to head in now, if that's okay. Whew, that's quite a relief. How kind of Bernadetta's friend making that delivery for me. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Aloise. Wait a second. That was Bernadetta. But it couldn't have been. She spoke so normally. She didn't act frightened at all. In fact, she was quite friendly. Ouch! Oh, yes, it still hurts when I pinch my cheek, so I'm not dreaming. Hmm. I'm glad the ordeal's done with, but now I feel terribly confused and a little worried. Meek little Bernadetta, what have they done to you? Okay, I'm... I'm curious, what the fuck was that? Cyril, you are always having great passion and hard work. You give inspiration. Aw, oh, just doing my job. There Fucking Lady Rhea. If you say Lady Rhea again, but. I mean, you work hard. It makes me have curiosity. Can you tell me what plans you hold for the future? The future? I don't know anything about the future, but I'm kind of busy, so can we talk later? I have had the learning that you are from Almira. Everyone has the saying that it may have, uh, may be hard to move up in the church for you. But even with that, you always have passion and work with hardness. What fills you with determination? <sighs> I work because I work. It's what I do here. And, you know, God I really want to make damn myself it. useful Jesus to Lady Rhea. Jesus fucking Christ, so I can Cyril. Pay the big debt I owe her. Jesus Christ. Lady Rhea gave me a home when I didn't have one. Jesus Christ. I understand the feeling of need for repaying debts. But does it give you difficulty being a great distance from your home for so much time? Almira's just where I was born. It's not like I've got family there. 
If you love your homeland and want to go back, then that's nice, but it's not a thing I want to do. I like where I am. The best future I can think of is if things stayed like this forever. Yeah, yes, no. I have understanding. You and I have similarities. But at the similar time, we have differences. Maybe. Hey, I still got a lot of work. Better get to it. Zero does not want to speak about his land of home? It gives me curiosity. Yeah, he doesn't want to speak about it. Let's pester him about it. Holy shit. Catherine. And he said, I don't even have a horse. <laughs> Pretty funny story, huh? <sighs> <laughs> what is it, Shamir? You're not laughing. Didn't you think it was funny? Sure. So then laugh. You could stand to be a little friendlier, you know. Do I need to be? What do you mean, need to be? Friendship isn't about obligation. You could try being a bit warmer. Like when I first met you. I took the time to introduce myself and make friendly conversation. And you just said, hi. I'm Shamir. I remember thinking that you wouldn't be easy to get along with. Now that's funny. <laughs> I remember thinking you were just another knight who loved the sound of her own voice. She you is. Know, the type who's all talk but useless in battle. Okay, that's, well, that's not a true. Bit harsh. Did you really think that? Yes. <laughs> but you changed your mind when you saw me in action. I did. You're surprisingly strong. Well, even though you had zero charm, you did a nice job of supporting me. Now I know that you'll always have my back. In fact, maybe I should take it easy and let you handle all the fighting. It sounds like I'm going to be doing a lot more work around here. <laughs> we make a pretty good team. At any rate, we're bound together, so we better try to get along. Don't you think, partner? If that's how you see it, I can't disagree. It will take some time to dip in this bond, okay. Oh, Zenith! Good day to you, and farewell. Just a moment, Hilda. How are you feeling? Sorry? Oh, uh, fine. I'm doing just fine. I'm glad to hear it. I had heard that you requested a substitute for your cleaning duty due to an illness. <laughs> oh boy. You really do know everything, Seth. Just prior to that, you also asked for someone to take your place with table setting. I believe that was due to a uh, wrist injury. <laughs> it was not too serious, I hope. Ah, you heard about that. The wrist is all healed up, thank you. I seem to recall also that you declined to participate in a mock battle. That was due to a headache, yes? I have a very <laughs> fragile body, you see? <laughs> it's so kind of everyone to make accommodations. Indeed. It is a great friend who offers to help without complaint. See that you treasure such friends, and that you return the favor. Of course. Well, then I should really be... By the way... <laughs> Was there something else you wanted? It so happens I am on my way to the chapel to offer my prayers. Would you care to join me? No, no, I, I wouldn't want to intrude. I've already offered up all my prayers for the day. Marvelous. We must always remember to give our thanks to the goddess. It is essential that we offer our prayers to her each day, that we reflect on our deeds and strive to live as she would want us to live. For the goddess sees all that we say and do. Oh, I... <laughs> Religious pressure. Now, if you will excuse me. Of course. Goodbye now. is Sedith so scary? <laughs> it feels like he can see right through me. I guess that's his way of saying stop being lazy. I wish he'd just scold me outright. This is precisely why I try to avoid him. 
Well, I like your dynamic, so you're gonna have support. A lot of support. Why, it's Gilbert. Training on a day off? That man will never change. No rest, apparently. Is there any need to be so diligent when nobody is watching? Ah, well, at least I can bear witness. <laughs> Professor Hanneman, is there something you need? Ah, uh, you noticed me. No, no, not at all. I was simply observing. I apologize for disturbing you. You've done nothing worthy of apology. Although I fail to understand why you would watch my training. Oh, well, I watch because I find it quite interesting. Your movements are most refined with no unnecessary motions. Elegant is the word, I think. I find it quite satisfying to observe. In fact, I might say I was mesmerized. Is that so? If only you showed a bit more emotion on your face, just to sell the rest of it, you come off a bit tense. Well, it's Training pretty is difficult. A strain on the body. Surely it is natural for one to be he's, tense. He's carrying a lot of guilt, Hanneman. Oh. I know well how difficult training can be, but in your case, it's as though you're punishing yourself. Okay, Hanneman, you got that right. I'm sorry, it's simply how I am. No, no, what do I know of your training? My criticism was perhaps unnecessary. Still, I do feel you are too hard on yourself. Would it not be easier to live a little more freely? Find something that makes you happy and embrace it wholeheartedly. It would do you a world of good. I thank you for your advice, Professor Hanneman, but I cannot live as you do. Such a way of life is not permitted to me. Now, if you will pardon me, I will return to my training. Not permitted? I think the only one not permitting you joy, dear Gilbert, is yourself. A lot of people do that, though. Self-sabotaging. Self-punishing. It's pretty interesting. Okay. Let's see here. What's the party? Sweet, sweet, sweet. It's a tad bitter. Care to share your... Th oh, this is my favorite... I am grateful. Why don't we do it in the garden anymore? Why is it in my room? Doing great work and the cats. Doing great work? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Instead battery. Yeah. Fuck. <sighs> that That was awkward. Very awkward. Nothing really changed here. That's a wood steel. Ambush it, I will 
Of course we're gonna get ambush. God damn it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ambush at Hillel. Your party travels to Hillel, the Valley of Torment. To meet up with the allied troops and secure reinforcements. It should have been a safe march. Of course it hasn't. Edel guard. Thank you so much. Having received the Kingdom Army's plea for aid, Rodrigue has agreed to provide soldiers. In order to meet up with their reinforcements, the Kingdom Army sets out for Elel, the Valley of Torment. He's gonna ambush us. This valley isn't a place I'd care to return to. After the chilliness of Fargus, I can't seem to adjust to this extreme heat. Historically, there have been battles whose outcomes were determined in part by the climate. You can't argue that this heat isn't a factor. In conditions like these, who knows what will become of our morale. Professor, be honest. How are you holding up? Pretty good! Monks once used this area as an ascetic training ground because of the intense environment. They say Elel was born of the goddess's rage. A rage? If you believe the legends, this valley is evidence of the goddess's judgment passed on humanity for its corruption. The forest that once covered the surrounding area was burnt to ash by a pillar of light that descended from the heavens. That legend fueled belief in a place of torment between our world and the next, where one's sins are purified in the cleansing flames. Nonsense. Sins are not so easily washed away. Indeed. And there are no accounts of such a place in scripture. Yet those who cannot face their own sins have no choice but to cling to the idea. Are you holding up, Dimitri? Uh, I just don't think I can take this heat anymore. I think I'm starting to see things. Near those mountains over there. Is it just me? Or is there a group of people gathered there? Ambush. No. It would seem you are not hallucinating after all. Are those Rodrig soldiers? No, but their banner is that of... <gasps> no. Empire. Can't be. That is House Rose banner. They curried favor with that witch and sold out Fargus. We messed up. There must have been a spy among us. Will you have us meet them in battle? Or wait for Rodrig to arrive? There is only one option. How kind of them to save us the trouble of killing them later. They sold out the kingdom, right? I will not repeat myself. That banner belongs to the Grey Lion. It's a waste of breath to exchange words with one such as him. His Highness is correct. He is not an opponent whom we can expect to negotiate with. Okay, the Everyone, death. Prepare for the attack. Then death. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Eh. Okay. Do this. Wendell. Great night. Okay, no monsters. That's ooh. Just key here. Uh, 
Okay, you have a lockpick, so you're gonna be part of my crew. What do you have for me? Concoction? I don't give a fuck about that. Okay. Okay, let's check our units now. Let's protect your kid. Okay. Oh man, Felix is not gonna be here. Well then, Felix, you support Lysithia. Petra then. Okay. Can only have three adjutants. Okay. Let's arrange them. Okay, there we go. Sylvain. I don't need to save. The Valley of Torment. Perhaps a good place to finish off my life as a knight. Only if that puny force of children is able to kill me, of course. That man who raises the lion's flag? Lord Gwendol. He is an elder knight who serves House Rome. Gwendol would, without thought, fight any battle if ordered. There is no chance of negotiating. Okay. Alel is a deadly place. Flames burst from the ground with no warning. Sane people usually avoid it. Oh, we so have Dimitri. <laughs> torment burn your sins, your life, your everything. If you wish to spare yourself the goddess's wrath, tread lightly. Okay. Yeah, I don't need to know that. I'll comply. Let's clean up. What's the plan? Okay. Yeah, let's put Lysithia here. Wait. Yeah, let's put Lysithia here. Let's make this quick. What's my strategy? I do this for all of us. At your service. Ready when you are. Shall we? I'm your girl. Oh, no, 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 no. I want you to dance. Shall we? Okay. I'm your girl. I do this for all of us. Okay, come on. Predictable. Here is something to believe okay. in. It won't be in vain. 
Finally, I'm a witcher now. Ouch. Nice. people got master seal can I get that chest key I don't need chest key okay I removed that be careful can gambit now okay there we go you can do it go right there Yourself. Bye bye. You're done. Okay, we're quitting this time. My fifty six. You make me feel safe. Ready when you are. That brave sword. Well, if I'm gonna use the Persasia, I might kill this one. I can do no less. Yep. It's a quick galore. Onward. I'll try harder too. Okay, I can deal with her. You know what? I would. She can't attack me anyway. Okay, I skipped that. Can't afford to lose. Oh, come on. What's my strategy? This could turn the tides. I'm stronger than this is probably a bad idea. No, it wasn't. That's the only guy can reach me in this guy. Let's clean up. <laughs> Feels good to fight for a cause. Wait, you don't have steel? I have you have steel. God damn it. Let's make this quick. What's the plan? Man, Sylvain! Burn until we meet again. Being good at magician now. I need 
that. I'll comply. Okay. Going to plan. Yeah, no <gasps> use. Okay. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's that's actually huge damage. Can I get some vengeance, please? Yes, I got you. Okay, Bernadetta, chill. A little scratch won't stop me. Seems like fighting's all I do. The ah, shit! I can't go back. Shit. Thought I can go back one tur one square. That's not okay, and then what's next? Come on, Annette. I really don't want to heal Bernadetta yet. Okay. Magic for that. Go armor slayer. Show me out of there. Okay. Let's go with the rapier. Oh shit, I got hit. God damn it. I must leave them well. That's actually pretty bad. Why do you have a bow? Mm. Nah. Okay. I think Bernadette can survive this. Okay. That guy did not go for the kill on Bernadetta. All talk and no action. 
That's good. Safe space. Bolt X. Almost throw it by accident. Okay. Injuries mean nothing. Don't you should have created the first time. Man. See you in the eternal flames. They always do that. No time to slow down. Okay. Let's go here. Oh man, you have no faith. your death. Hopefully I'll be more useful now. That's a good level up. Anything with speed? I'm gonna haunt you if I die. You're gonna be fine, Bernadetta. I want you on low health. Wait, is she... Okay, let's do this. Okay, let's do that. Not gonna hit me, dude. Okay. Sorry about that. I should have equipped the bow and Shamir. Oh no. Why are you moving? Ready yet? Okay. Okay. I need to figure out how to not be killed by this guy. I mean, how not to kill that guy? Because that's that's gonna end the map. Okay. Oh, I'm out. Even if I die. You're a big help. Okay. Need to kill this guy. Okay, I can kite them around. Yeah, you're not gonna move yet. That's a 
good fucking oh, helm splitter. Okay. Let's kill this so I can't be killed. Oh my god, I use a rapier. I wasted two attack on a rapier. Okay. I am so impressed. He's physic, not you. Oh shit! Here we go. Attack them from both sides. Oh no. Hey. So Cornelia has planted spies even inside Garrett Mark. The shield of Fargus has appeared. We can expect more out of him than the young ones. Oh, come on. Debated. All for our future. God damn it. Do I need a training axe, dude? Going for the kill. Okay, that's a crit. Nice. Their numbers. Okay. Can do this. Nice. And I can get Mercedes to kill. Be at peace. Not thirty one yet. I'll comply. I don't want to end it yet, there's still... Okay. Don't want to use Gambit.
I can get a chest key from the convoy though. This is really... I want to know what's inside that. Okay, I'm just gonna try this. We still have a lot of the divine pulses. Go back here. Nice. It won't be in vain. Where are you? Chest key. There we go. Okay, it's not worth it. Hmm. You can attack. Fuck. Either protect Mercy or protect Bernadetta. So yeah, we're probably gonna rewind this. This could turn the tides. <laughs> Does a whelp like you really expect to kill me? Don't, don't I die. Angel, the Grey Lion. Okay, that's good. This will get him. <laughs> Why would you use a fucking gambit, dude? Yeah, that's a rewind. It's not worth it. Skip that shit. Okay. Oh shit. Service. Let's go with Nesferatu here. I don't expect forgiveness. I'm your girl. Uh, 
Okay. Honestly, this is bullshit. There's a lot of XP here that I cannot get anymore. That's fine. What's my strategy? I'll comply. Shall we? No. Fuck. No. What? I'm gonna use a gambit. So he can't move. It's time. There we go. I hope you crit. Ow. Thank you. But it's you or me. I'm impressed. I'm gonna haunt you if I die. Murder, you're gonna be fine. Okay. I do want to die. Another victory. I disposed of doubt long ago. Okay. Shit. you here no no let's clean up what's the plan okay can I just got hmm I can't use Gambit on him with my character because that would kill him. your help. Dude. 
Oh shit. Oh, that's cool. Okay, Shamir is in trouble. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, arrows don't hit her. Okay. Oh, come on, that's my XP, dude. Jesus Christ, Rodrigue. Okay, I should finish this. Lysithia is not gonna get any... any XP. Well, she's still reduced, so it's fine. And she can heal Sylvain. Okay. That is 31, 32. Okay. It's done. Keep our guard up. Okay, that's a nice level. Leave it to me. Okay, I need Ingrid and Bernadetta to level up. It's pretty much done. Wait. Okay, I need you to level up as well. Yeah, I need a frick will go for this. Don't get used to this. Now the bishop. It's gonna kill the bishop. Yeah, heal yourself, man. Done. Onward. I guess we'll get this. Should really use this the stat ups, but I'm really hoarding them right now. Okay. Annette doesn't need it. Okay, it's over. Wish me luck! Okay, god damn it. That's 44% chance to quit. And it didn't quit. Okay. Yeah, let's gambit. Man praised as a lion is degraded to a mere traitor's underling. A traitor's underling? That's upsetting your highness. I am and always have been a knight of House Rome. How dare you? You are nothing but a lowly beast scavenging for scraps. You have forgotten the dignity of knighthood. I may be lowly, but this beast is devoted to his master. Then I had better kill the pet and deliver its head to that master. We've got your back. I thought that was a quit. 
than I remember. They don't crit gambits. Dimitri, my boy! The funny thing is, he had a very awful level up early game. Goodbye. Perfect. So I have found a place to die. Young ones, I thank you. That's a nice shield. Can we pick those up? Ah, she it doesn't even live. The knights to follow their master's orders without argument. Lord Gwendol was a good man. Now he is just a corpse, nothing more. Let's go. Rodrigue is waiting for us. Nice. After battle. It's been too long, Your Highness. But try to temper your joy, will you? This is a war after all. To oh, say no. such a thing at a time like this. You have not changed one bit. Don't let looks deceive you. I've had a rough go of it ever since I crossed blades with those traitors in Ferdiad. When I heard you'd been executed, I rushed there as fast as I could, blind with fury. When I got there, I was fed some garbage about not being able to see your body. The next thing I knew, I was gripping my blade and... <sighs> Gilbert, you have done well to locate His Highness. I am truly grateful. And you, I have you to thank as well. You're welcome. Well, we are in your debt. I will repay you for this someday, I swear it. And you, Felix. You have also done well to bring His Highness here. <laughs> Tell us all you know, Rodrigue. Felix has a fucking stick up his ass. I'm afraid there's not much to tell. You are aware that the western region of the kingdom was taken by the Empire, correct? Yes, so I have heard. They are now calling it the Fargus Dukedom, or some nonsense. If you know that much, then the rest won't take long. Enemy or not, it's undeniable that Cornelia's plan was nothing short of genius. After seizing power, she invited the Imperial Army to Ferdiat. There, she reorganized her troops and then sent soldiers to hunt me down. Because of that, we were forced to act defensively. And now we're being forced into a difficult battle. She's been controlling the situation all along. So that's been the witch's plan from the start. I should have killed her ages ago. Your Highness, Ferdiad is in a terrible state right now. The tyranny is unbearable, and so the rebellions are endless. Refugees starve to death in the streets. If I may speak freely, Your Highness, we should change course for Ferdiad and take down those traitors before we embark to Enbar. That was my plan. There's no time for that. We must annihilate Enbar before all else. Think this through. I understand wanting to destroy the Empire and the Emperor. I want that so much it hurts. But which is more important, the dead or the living? Silence! That struck a nerve. <laughs> no, Dimitri. You will hear me out. Are you asking me, asking the dead, to forgive that woman? No, I would not ask that of you. What I am asking is that you allow us to prioritize the Kingdom Capital over the Imperial Capital for now. As Lambert's close and trusted friend, I am confident that he would have advised the same. Do not dare to put words in the mouths of the dead. They are your words alone, even if you borrow their lips. Until I offer up that woman's head, Father will remain a slave to his lingering regret and hatred. Even now, he suffers. It is ceaseless. As we waste time with idle chatter, his suffering continues. <sighs> you are my king. Our king. Wherever you lead, we will follow. But your highness, 
There are those who take up their sword in the name of revenge, and yet along the way, lose the strength and composure to follow through. You would do well to bear that in mind. Ah, I nearly forgot. Take this, Your Highness. The time has come for it to be wielded by its true master. Eritvar. The hero's relic once wielded by my father. Is that a great sword? The very same. I managed to steal it back from one of Cornelia's underlings in Ferdiat. Understated as ever, father. It must have been a true struggle to get it back. I... I am grateful, my friend. Gilbert. Professor, may I request something of you? I wish to fight at your side. Seeing I'll already, old man? Who will protect our territory? I expected it would come to this, so I left those matters to my younger brother. He has my complete faith. I must keep my promise to our fallen king, to my dear friend. What promise? You protect A Dimitri? A very old one. I swore it nearly ten years ago. Now then, your highness, let's destroy the empire together. My men and I will spare no effort. I pray that you are right, and that this will save the kingdom. It's a lance. Damn it. Okay, let's remove the brave lance then. Wait. Pressburg can use atros. Okay, atrocity. That's that's a good name. Wait, let's say the seven. Yeah, let's remove brave lance. Our orders are to capture Enbar by striking the enemy's stronghold directly. How familiar are you with the geography of Fodlin? Not very. <laughs> the kingdom and the empire are separated by the impassable Ogma Mountains. Legend has it that Saint Seros once crossed over those mountains to fight against the fell king Nemesis. But don't fool yourself. Leading a large army over such steep mountains would be near impossible. In order to infiltrate the empire, we have no choice but to go around the mountains, either to the east or to the west. Hmm. Let's go west. Hmm. I believe that may be difficult. After all, the western region of the kingdom is already loyal to the Empire. Then uh, wh why ask me the... Perhaps we should consider going east, using the route that passes through Alliance territory. The Alliance is currently split in two. Those who stand with the Empire and those who are against it. Which is the Imperial faction is House Gloucester, while House Regan leads those who oppose. Lawrence is an enemy now? I recruited him. What the fuck? We should take advantage of their internal conflict and proceed east along the mountains until we reach the Great Bridge of Murden in Alliance territory. Why there? The Aramid River divides Alliance and Empire territory. There are many large bridges that cross it. However, the Great Bridge of Murden is by far the largest, and it is also closest to the monastery. I believe you crossed that bridge five years ago on your journey to the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Mm, what if the Empire and the Alliance both attack? I'm afraid it's a possibility. But it's still more practical than passing through the West. Perhaps our next move should be to contact House Regan and request their cooperation. You think they'll help us? Claude of House Regan is the leader of the Alliance and is firmly against the Empire. They are the enemy of our enemy. In other words, hopefully, a friend. Can we recruit Claude? Are you suggesting that we ask House Regan to engage the Gloucester soldiers? I am. If we take the bridge, then House Gloucester will no longer be able to receive support from the Empire. There's no way a man as wise as Claude would refuse our request. And once we manage to capture the Great Bridge and gain a foothold into the Empire, then we cross Grander Field and head south toward Enbar. But if we get attacked from both sides, 
We'll have to fight people from the Alliance, won't we? Of course, if we get blocked in by the Alliance, we'll have to fight our way out. That means you'll have to cross blades with your old schoolmates. If you do not wish to kill familiar faces, do not tarry over the corpses of the dead. <laughs> Good advice. Prepare yourselves. It is time to steal your souls for the task at hand. Okay. I think this is going to be the new chapter. So with that, I think I'm going to end it today. Rose Scholar Dweaver. That's, that's ominous. I'm going to end this live stream now. It's 10.35 p.m. I'm going to wake up early tomorrow. And hopefully you enjoy the time you have. And until tomorrow, we're going to gonna do that. We're gonna kill Lawrence or some shit. People that Lawrence. And we're gonna be friends with Claude because yeah, that's what I wish. Anyway, I hope you have a fantastic day, night, whatever you're into. I don't judge. Till then. See you tomorrow. That's a great outro. <laughs>